probably about 2012, 2013, it started to grow because the world started to take notice that we don't want to be putting waste in landfill anymore, which means they can reduce the volumes very, very quickly, very, very cost effectively. Uh, and so I would say global environmental awareness is pushing one side of it and also cost. It's all now becoming very expensive to process waste and get rid of waste, where we, we can do that very cheaply. Finance and the costs in different countries varies quite considerably. Um, the bigger the country is, America typically is about half the price per tonne to get rid of waste in America as it is in, the, in Europe, for example. Europe is very expensive. So that becomes a challenge when you're looking at uh, marketing, manufacturing, shipping, and the costs associated with the equipment. So technology is really exciting. Uh, we used to use an A4 sheet of paper, and now we're, um, we've got iPads. We're putting it in live data and it's um, stored on the cloud and all that kind of stuff, which is really, really useful. I can go out to a customer and they can, I can look at that particular cheese and I can then go onto my phone and say, right, well, this cheese was made with this, this and this, and this is the acidity profile that it was. So maybe that you're getting a certain flavour because of X, Y and Z. Different legislation can be quite challenging um, and uh, the biggest probably challenge um, is can be disease, can be weather, can be also those types of things, the very unpredictable nature of just, you know, of the world. There's three main challenges for us becoming a global business. The first is the very high level of food safety that must be maintained at all times. The second would be the tax and regulatory differences between countries as well as state level. Last but not least is macroeconomic risks, including currency as well as commodities. Technology has drastically changed to the better our business, whether it be on the production practices used on a day-to-day -day basis in herd management, also as well as our risk management system. We have a real-time system that mark to markets not only our currency and futures positions, but as well as our inventory on a second-by-second -second basis. We're the third generation. Our uncles have given us the full responsibility to explore other avenues and to get into social media, but we don't want to neglect the core business yet. So we're still exploring it and trying to pace it out. So when we just started, we don't have little hiccups.